Quarters Junction, stopping to get some gas. We went over there to get uh, some food next door. It's busy. We're actually heading out Friday evening here, heading up to Flagstaff, and then from there we're going to head to Salt Lake area, and then uh, next day we'll be up in Rexburg. The lady at the restaurant said, busier than normal, so there's definitely a lot of people heading north. We made it to Winona. Welcome to Nephi, Utah. Mmm, leather bees has rice sauce. Yummy. How's your cookies and cream? Good! Yeah. Here we are in Plymouth, Utah. Almost to Idaho. Traffic is heavy. Welcome to Rexburg, Idaho. You can see some people over there have camping in their backyard. We drove past a lot of signs. One of them said luxury tents for rent. It was just as we got off I-15 in Idaho Falls. And then we're driving up the 20 towards Rexburg and we see huge signs for solar eclipse parking. Just down the street from here there's a field full of RV and tents and tons of people. They're expecting about a half a million people up in this area alone. Good thing we're not leaving first thing Monday afternoon as soon as it's over because it's going to be a crowded drive home. We're going to leave the next morning. There's that bright light in the sky that we've got to be able to somehow filter out. My monocular. Put my solar film over the top of this and hold the cell phone onto it. Right here turns to adjust the and they're supposed to grip onto that where it can go into a telescope or whatever. If I tighten this down too much, it tends to just slip off. Until I figure that out, I'm going to play with this thing. This is an LC ND1000, or basically a 10 stop filter. It is not for a close up view of the sun, but this is only a 250 millimeter zoom lens, which means I'm not going to get that close. So it should filter out enough light. So as you can see here in my viewfinder, when the sun is fully in focus, it's not that big on the screen. I'm not really getting that much concentrated light in, which is okay for the filter that I've got. Took a knife to those pads in there and scraped them out. Much better. This looks like a mirror on one side and black on the other side. Let's go test it out. And here I am trying to take a video of the sun. Can't seem to get it to focus. Definitely not real precise, but we're getting something. It's the big day, and there's the big show just about to start. Wait, sit down. It's hot. Oh, no. Now I see it. These glasses, I don't like them. Yeah, it's I don't get a real blanket, but at oh. least we got some. They can't see yeah, your face. It's because the sun is so bright, it has to block out most of the light. Look at the bite. <laughs> it looks like a pot of gold. I want to bring cookie out yet. What you need is a thermostat. What's that? So you can watch the temperature go down. Go I got one right here. <laughs> Those bushes right there are turning a blush color, which is like for a fall. At West Yellowstone for breakfast this morning. Tinkerbell. This is our neighbor's and, uh, dog. Just don't pick her back, up. She's good though. Wall to wall, bumper to bumper cars from Henry's Lake all the way to Rexburg. And the airport's full. It looks like a <laughs> moon. Can't really tell just looking at it with the gimbal. It's definitely almost completely covered. It's getting so do they shadow down on the Yeah, it looks like little snakes. It's just they're so light. You need something with something, that's, white, behind something it. white behind it to really oh, see it well. Like the the heat waves. The heat waves? It's like getting evening time. It is, it, like it is getting cooler. This is, it's like the whole world is slowing. 68! It's cold! Seth, how you doing? Are you happy? Are you good? 
Wait, no. I need better Daddy, equipment. Daddy, put your glasses on. I'm watching for Well, the, the good snakes. news is you'll have time to get what better snakes? equipment. There's not going to be actual snakes. There's going to be one in Utah in about 28 years. Isn't there one in Illinois? In yeah, there's one going up the center of the of the nation in 2024. Isn't that amazing how much brightness it can give? I can at how much it's covered? With that little sliver. Nef Nefi you or something like that. Oh, I hate stairs. Oh, I hate stairs. Are you recording again? What does this thing do to me? I know, right? Don't move. Get back over there. Who? Me? I'm going to Mom, you like it. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Tell me when there's snake. Snake? Uh, that's just wow. That's remarkable. Oh, that's good. Look at that. I miss both. <laughs> no kidding. I had all my settings for the sun, and then as soon as it goes over, I take the filter off, and I lost my focus, and I could never get it back. Oh, no! <laughs> it is literally the butt crack of dawn, and we are getting ready to head out, hoping we don't run into traffic. Still gas in Rexburg. We saw a bunch of people on the way up here that were carrying gas cans with them, which maybe they needed them, because we were checking the traffic reports last night, yesterday afternoon it was a mess there was a three-hour delay just going from Rexburg to Idaho Falls so we're glad we didn't plan on leaving yesterday because man we hear that people were just having all kinds of problems getting home so maybe those gas cans came in handy who knows why doesn't this fit in there there we go I'm still a little tired can't think straight we're getting out of here though. Oh, I did not sleep well last night. We made it to Flagstaff. Time for dinner. Traffic wasn't too bad. Everybody ready? 